All right, welcome back to Black Lodge Trivia Night. This is Art doing more of the Elden Ring DLC. We are actually, I think, if I had to guess, getting pretty close to the end. Um, there is this there is this area that I couldn't tell you how big it is. Um, I know the map marker is around there. I'm not 100% sure. Well, I'll get to that in a second. Um, but, you know, we, we've burned down whatever the thing is that lets you get to the top of here. And I think that's basically going to the end game. I don't know if I've screwed up NPC quests. I'm sure that I have. But now the trick here is how do you get to this area? I can get there, but I can't get here. And I haven't been able to figure it out. So much like I did in the first time, I was like, hey, let me just take a video. Let me look at a video. It's like, how do you get to the map areas, the map fragments? And one said, yeah, you know, so when you start heading down, where was it? It was here. It's like, if you just head down this path, it was like, oh, crap. And I shut it down because I was like, I just, I was looking at the map wrong. I went back and I was like, okay, so maybe if I can just like, how do you... Maybe it'll give me that hint. Like, if you just look at this part of the map here and you didn't realize that this is actually, like, some kind of 3D representation of a tunnel going underneath the land bridge, blah, blah. It's not that. And I will say this. I've gotten to where you need to go to get there. I just never, ever, ever would have found it. So what I need to do is I need, I think, to go to... I don't know which one it is. Somewhere around here is a, um, I've, I've been there, and it, it's a, a level where you're on a bridge, and you need, this isn't, oh. I've already done this, I thought. I could have swore I've already done this. I've definitely already done this because I've been, I fought like the ulcerated whatever that was down below. I thought I got that bonfire. I really thought I got that bonfire. So I think I'm in the wrong area. I assume if I just jumped off there, I'd die, but... Let me just see if I can sort of speed run. Oh, did I? I did. Watch out. Yeah. I don't know if this weapon's worth keeping. It's just fun to mess with some. Oop, nope, I can't speed run that way. Did I not do this? I feel like I did. It's definitely not where I'm looking to go, though. But it's basically the idea is... You need to get down a ladder. Oh, I did miss this. I remember that. I don't think I got it.
But yeah, I could have swore I was fighting the ulcerated tree spirits down here, and I was like, yeah. Whatever. Um, I thought I even killed one of them. But basically... Again, I keep saying this is the wrong area, but I'm just kind of curious now why I was acting weird. Because I definitely, obviously, missed this bonfire, but... They very much wanted me to know this bonfire was here, so I'm not sure... why that was the case. I don't know if this is the best weapon to... I like the reach on this thing, but uh, I don't know if this thing's susceptible to bleed at all. Probably fire might have been better. Apparently, I thought I heard lightnings pretty good in this, and I messed with holy. I probably should have put lightning on this. take out the crab. He can. Nice. Oh. They can do that as well. Um, crab should be dead now. I know one of the complaints is, like, with this thing, you can't tell what's going on. Um... Let me see if I can switch to a different weapon. But yeah, so there's an area, I think, much higher up. So that's my mistake. But there was like these ledges, and then you'd climb down a ladder. And there was like water at the base of the ladder. But then you would um, find this area with a painting. I found the painting, which is how I know I'm, I was in the right spot. But I missed... <laughs> I missed how you get to the next section. And I'll hopefully get to that soon. Um, where did I die? I don't know if this thing's going to be any better. It still has the holy damage, but at least it's... There's a little bit more damage. I don't know if it, this thing can get staggered. Nope, too early on that roll. Hit it in the. There we go. Now, how do I get to its weak spot? There we go. I mean, it doesn't make fighting this thing any easier because you can't see. You know, I feel like I should have con made contact with those.
Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to deal with this because this is not what I'm here for. Although I do like the idea of that crab getting destroyed. Okay, let's see if I can get my <laughs> souls and get out of here. Because uh, clearly this is not where I want to be. I don't know what you get for beating the ulcerated tree spirits. I don't need the golden whatevers. I think I'm going to hit a crab here. Okay. This thing's pretty good. I don't think it's the right... This might not be my best weapon for... I don't know if they count as dragons. I wonder what that, like, special... Okay, so anyway, the one I'm looking for... Let me see if I can... Fourth floor? This one? Seventh floor? I think that's too high. I think that's inside. I'm trying to get... There's there's one that has, like, a platform outside. And I don't know. Is it one of these? Dark chamber? Mesmer's dark... Nope, it's definitely not that. Is it the west rampart? Fourth floor? I probably should have looked up which one it is. Um, because... Yeah, there's just no way I was going to find it. It's too high up. Whoa! <laughs> I really thought it was down low. definitely not over here. It's one of these. Again, this is part of the issue. Like, you know, these maps are not meant for three-dimensional space in a way. And, um... I think I've tried that one. I've tried that one. I think I've tried them all. Let me try over here real quick. Because there's, like, a staircase leading down. This, is, this might be the basic idea. I remember I opened up a door that was sort of like a shortcut. I think these things... You know, I started listening to the Bonfire Side chat stuff, and they go into some of the lore of the jars here. You know, in the base game, the jars are, you know, they're warriors who take... ...other warriors and sort of incorporate them into their... Into their sort of fighting spirit. Here, you know, as we saw from the one location, they're prisons. And so what you do is you have, you know, assuming, you know, they're right about this. Oops.
And what it is, it's a bunch of people. You can sort of see it in that art there. Like, it's a bunch of people getting smushed together. And they sort of just graft together in a weird, like, congealed mess. And, um... And their, their interesting point was like, oh, does it give like any context to like the grafting in the base game? And I was kind of like, ugh, you know, because that was sort of, you know, because grafting, what they would do is they would like chop people up and put them together. Here, they mush people together into these jars like a, a prison. And through contact, they just turn to mush and sort of congeal together into one sort of monstrous mass. I thought that was... Uh, so I'm not quite sure. So I feel like I'm losing the thread here because I'm going to be getting out of here. But somewhere in this area, there is a stupid secret door. And this is... Uh, let me... Uh, yeah, let me... <laughs> um... And this is sort of... The reason why I want to get here is because I sort of wanted to go into uh, it a little bit. Um, let me see. So, Shadow of the Erd Tree. Secret Door Painting. Now, let me see. So, it involves... Where do we fight the Golden Hippopotamus? This is the basic idea, so I think we're in the right area now. Uh, so somewhere around here, you can take a ladder down to that water level. Yeah, this was what I was thinking of. It was this platform to cut up to this area here. Now I just gotta find the ladder to get down. Yeah, the burning boats. Okay, yeah, this feels right. I just have to remember where the ladder is. Let's see. Do you have to deal with this guy? I don't know if you have to deal with that guy. Maybe you do. Maybe you have to get below. Let's deal with this guy. See if the ladder's on the other side. Can 
Can I get him? Let's see how low we go with this elevator here. Nope, it's going up. We don't want to do that. Alright, well now that we have the room to ourselves, so to speak, let's see if we can uh, take our time and find the ladder. Because we don't have the room to ourselves, let's... Because what you want to do is there's a painting underneath here that I found. Why can I not get the ladder? I think it's... Can I do this? There's somewhere around here. Oh, there, there's the... Okay. There's the ladder. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, then you make your way in here. I think you make your way. Is this where I want to go? Painting room now. I think, yeah, somebody's going to mark it. And they'd have... And that's what you got to do. Okay. Like I said, I've already found this painting. You can see I can't activate it. Um, but this gets me to something I'm not sure about with this game. So when I uncovered, you know, this, you know, getting around to these areas and uncovering, you know, with help that, you know, hey, idiot, there's things on the map you're not doing correctly. Like, there's... Uh, what was there? There was something... Where was the water? Right here. There was something there. It just had to look closer on the map. There was something maybe wherever it was here. There was that... This thing here. Like, that was, you know, me just not being careful, and I get it, and I was being stupid. But... There's... The Souls games, you know, have a history of really intense deliberate obfuscation. If you remember how to get to the DLC in Dark Souls 1, maybe even how to get... To, oh, here we go. So somebody had mentioned that there was a coffin that would take you somewhere. Um, getting to the DLC in Dark Souls 1 is ridiculous. You know, it's... You know, obviously somebody figured it out. I don't know how that process happened, but now just everybody knows or people Googled it in even I think getting to the painted world required you to go back to the starting dungeon which actually I thought was cool that it was there if you just thought to do it but after you do that um, there was like a doll in one of the cells I should shut up while this cutscene plays Nice, okay. I think there was like a doll or some item. Okay, there's two ways I can go. Um, I think there's a bonfire here, so I'm just going to grab this real quick. Let's see what these are saying. Want to go home? Firehead. I doubt this is going to be anything. Um, I think you had to grab an item from the original Skadu Altus. Let's grab this see where we are on the map. Okay. So we finally have figured out how to get here and then maybe we're going to follow this somehow and then end up under here some I, I don't know. But we've found a way to get lower. You know, the 
the trick with this map has always been you want to go lower and lower and lower for the most part. It's like a collection of coffins that, um... Maybe they've taken other people. I assume this is going to be also telling me there's a secret passage, no horse ahead. So you had to find an item back in the original prison cell that I think would then let you access the painted world. And it's, you know, the Painted World is like a separate sort of domain in a way, right? So it doesn't bother me that that's the trick. It's a, it's a magical plane within this, it's a prison, you know, sort of within, within the world. This is part of the world. You know, if I needed to do... Like crazy horseshit just to get to... A lot of furnace visages. I'm nervous that one of these things is going to come to life. One of the other things, you know, again, I started listening to Bonfire Side Chat. Because for a while I've been like, oh, how would I take one of these down? And they're like, yeah, these fights suck. You know, don't... And I was like, okay. Yeah. So I don't feel... obligated to try and kill them if I can just survive. It's a lot like the, you know, the knight... The tower knight in Demon Souls. You hit its ankles enough times until you can knock it down, and when you knock it down, you can throw the super hefty pots into its furnace, and they overheat and explode. What I thought was interesting, though, the lore behind them, again, all courtesy of Bonfire Side Chat, I should make sure I link to them in the show notes, is that they... This feels like an ambush waiting to happen. The reason for them is they are basically mobile funeral pyres. They're here to dispose of the dead and the fallen so that you don't have just corpses everywhere. Which I thought was an interesting lore touch. Uh, mechanically, though, they were like, yeah, these fights suck, and so I don't feel obligated to figure it out. They were also talking about these shrouds that cover everything, lost ashes of war. I'm going into that a little bit. Um, I don't know if they had an answer yet based on as far as I got or if it was behind a bit of a spoiler wall, so they held off. But um, but that's why, you know, I'm looking forward to getting done with this in a way because I want to find out what's going on. Anyway, point is, that sort of level of obfuscation can be, I think, taken too far. And in something like The Painted World, it didn't bother me so much given what that area was. It wasn't really a physical part of the world, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? The DLC is sort of time traveling back to another time, but at the same, same time, as I say time for the fifth time, it was, it felt random to me the steps to get there. It didn't bother me that, like, a, I mean, I guess, you know, that a hand grabs you out of the... out of that cave and drags you down to whatever. But it did feel random, unless, you know, and it's very possible I just don't know the lore, but it did feel random what you had to do to grab the locket or amulet needed to trigger that, which was to kill a crystal golem in the Duke's archives. Near the entrance, and 
suddenly he dropped a, an amulet or a locket, and then you would take that to a very specific place, and it just, it, it suddenly felt like It didn't feel narrative, I guess is what I'm thinking. And so to have an entire section of your world that is physically connected and geographical, geological, uh, whatever it is, however you want to describe it. Um, behind a secret door under a bridge, it just gets to be like, okay, all right, what are we doing here? It feels very gamey. And, you know, I think I was talking, you know, the first time I encountered something like this was, I discovered it on my own, and it's when I took the time to figure out how to get down to the Bonnie Village. You know, it was through the ruins, and there was a connection. That didn't bother me quite so much, because you can see that they are geographically very close. You know, there is a cliff there. The, the, the ruins probably functioned when it was not a ruin as a way to get to where you wanted to go. It's just that it's been trashed. This doesn't seem to have that narrative hold to it. Nice. This feels like, it, it feels more arbitrary, like it was meant as a video game puzzle. So, I, I mean, I've been ranting for a while about this, but um, as soon as I saw how to get there, I was like, yeah, that feels like a cheat, like a video game cheat of how to, how to accomplish that. Oh, nice. Get a little bump here. Oops, wrong. There we go. Up to seven. I think they can get up to ten. So I, th I believe. So we're getting close there. Now let's see what we can do. Again, the goal is to go down. There is something down there. Because if you look, let's look at the map for a second if these sheep are going to leave us alone. Because again, we're trying to... Okay, so we're skirting here. we got a little thing pointing us in the direction. And so I bet we're going to figure out how to travel this river basin. It's going to take us underneath a bunch of stuff. It's going to take us down here, and then it's going to get us... And so... Yeah, that just feels really arbitrary. Right, because there's ruins here, so, you know, like, I don't know. I'll be curious to, you know, be wary of hole, okay. I'll be curious to hear, like, if there's, like, lore reasons or something, but, um, I didn't love, I didn't love this detail. And there is no way I ever would have found it from exploring. So. Now it's a... Couldn't tell if that was a bigger one or just... Nice. It's got some range to it.
Okay. Yeah, the insect motif of uh, this DLC is really strong. <laughs> it's like even those flies, the secondary, like it's getting like some some of the chills. It was like, ugh. But we're usually reserved for the bigger flying scorpion. so to speak. Uh, do I have the right talismans in play here? What am I working with? I'm working with not my exploration build. So let's get that going again. Let's get that. Let's get the one that's go uh yeah that one's good that one's good let's let's go with this whoops is almost back okay i thought i was about to back off a cliff Okay, before we do that. Okay, we still gotta go forward, okay. Nope. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get out of this. <laughs> All right, get back to the good stuff. Whew. Okay, so we got a couple options going on here. I don't know if they're mutually exclusive. We've got the... I'm going to risk it. Uh, I, I don't think they're mutually exclusive. I'm going to drop down. Oops. Drop down, grab this side of grace. And then see if we can loop over. Where that, like, Death Knight bird was. Okay, so I'm getting pretty close to a level. Do I have... The juice? Nope. I'm getting 3,000. I probably need 220 or something at this point, so... Now there's something necessary. Item ahead. Item ahead. Do a quick run around the horn here just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay. 
Okay, so now we might be entering a realm of mutual exclusivity. So let me see if I can get around this way. I also don't think I'm... I mean, there's a million things that I'm missing mechanically. I think one thing I'm definitely missing is what I'm supposed to be doing with those crosses. I think they're supposed to be telling me something. Nope, don't need to kill you. And I'm not taking advantage of it. I know somebody gave me like a like a hand-drawn map or something that's supposed to show where they are. It was kind of useless because this game doesn't let you zoom in on maps. I know they get marked on your map when you find them, the overworld map. Or maybe it's not these, it's the ones where you get like the little notes from America saying like I left my flesh here. I feel like those I'm not doing enough with. Okay, so let's see what's down here. It's definitely some item. It's definitely a path of these things. Dry leaf seal. Is that a talisman? Maybe not. So we seem to be making our way down. The question is, what if we had done it the other way? Does it all lead to the same place, or is that different? Where are we? Okay, so yeah, we're making our way further and further to the southeast. don't believe I've been anywhere near here before, obviously, so I'm going to sort of blow past these guys and just check this river basin, even though I'm heading potentially the wrong direction. Necessary item ahead, be wary of coffin. Oh, nice. Okay. Anything behind this waterfall? Nope. Nice. Okay. Hopefully, I'm not missing out on too much if I head the other direction.
That's all I want. I'm going to keep blowing past these guys. So there's northeast, which is, again, the wrong direction. But let me just explore a little bit, I think. Oh. Maybe not the wrong direction. Where am I? Oh. Those two... Uh those two hippos. <laughs> Alright, let me see what the other direction holds before I <laughs> go get my ass kicked by that. So the golden hippo obviously I struggled with in the in the keep. I um I never figured out its grab attack. Dry leaf robe, dry leaf wrapped, dry leaf. So is the dry leaf seal maybe armor? Or was there another way to get here that I just didn't understand? So I definitely made it to this area. I don't think you can. I think there's a gap. But maybe there's not. And if that's the case and I just miss being able to jump on the graves, that's fine. But if you have to use that secret passage to get down here, And that's, uh, that's messed up. Now I'm a little nervous I just cut myself off from... that shack. Or is it just another way to get down there? So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's the best weapon for a hippo. Two there, or is it just the one? Just the one. Is he doing it on horseback mean anything? Nope. <laughs> oh, maybe not. to aggro the other hippo. Okay. Now we can aggro the other hippo. That's fine. Oh. Okay. Do I still have Mimic with me?
There we go. Oh, look at that. All right, so maybe, did I just grab enough to get another level? Or the other question is, were these the same two golden hippos I was seeing above when I was near that shack? Or does that mean there's two more golden hippos? I feel like this would be the perfect cave wall for a dungeon, and I'm missing it. Somebody get all uppity. This. Does it go all the way up? Could you get from that bridge? You probably could if you jumped off the bridge. Maybe. I guess if you fell off the cliff. But then... Okay, so that would get you all the way down here. But would that get you... You'd still miss chunks of it, I guess. Basically, what I need in order my whole 20-minute bitch session to be negated is that there's other ways to get here that didn't involve that secret passage. Because that specifically feels like that deliberate obfuscation that is a bit too gamey for me. But where am I now? Okay. Oh, okay. Look at that. Again, as always, you want to keep going down. Not gonna lie, I would love to find a site of grace. Because I don't trust souls platforming. I go that one. Nope, let's try this way. skip a level? Can I just drop, or is that going to kill me? We're going to find out. Okay. So I don't know, not that anybody really watches these. If somebody watches these, 
and they hear me whining for 20 minutes and I'm completely wrong. If I usually don't like, I would love for somebody to drop that bit of information in the comments. Um, you know, I usually, you know, there's a lot of like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave an emoji. Like, I, I, I you know, you do whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm comfortable with that, but if there is another way to get past your sides, that hidden path, I would love to know. Oh, I'm poisoned? Come on. Oh, none of these guys died. That's why. <laughs> I thought I was dropping him with my fancy uh, fully attack, but I was not. Okay, before I get too far, let me check this out. A lot of coffins here, so I'm wondering if there's a lot of people that have been trying to use coffins to make the trip. I, I truly don't know. But I want to get here because I'm hoping to find not just a dungeon, but a site of grace. Moving a little too quick to make a jump to a secret passage if there was one. Nice. Here we go. Very happy about that. 14. That's not bad. Again, I think you can get up to 20. Maybe we can get a couple. I, I feel like I'm missing a ton. So I don't expect to be at 20 when we hit that final area. Oh, look at this. Be wary of left. Nice. I don't feel like I don't feel like I've messed with dungeons in the base game that really played with the idea of low light. I might be misremembering, but and I know I've said this plenty in the oh, look at that. There are areas in other games, like I know Dark Souls 2 in particular tried to make that a thing. Didn't quite work out all the time, but... But it's one of the things, you know, I, I've mentioned in Dragon's Dogma that they do really well. What is that? Is that another stone? And it really makes this aspect of Dragon's Dogma like so much, so creepy, creepy, atmospheric. Um, the idea that you have like a lantern that the oil might run out in the middle of your run. Ooh. Is there another one below me? I need to worry about. Let's see what this does while I'm here. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was curious if it was going to raise a bridge and they were going to stick with the darkness or if they're going to make it.
They are sticking with the darkness in some areas. But yeah, if you haven't played Dragon's Dogma 2... Not Dragon's Dogma 2. I mean, maybe that one now because they're starting to fix it, but... The original Dragon's Dogma is a quirky mess. But it's absolute... Can I do anything with that? It's absolutely worth checking out. If I drop down there, I can drop... Okay. Probably cutting myself off from some... Oh, 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 oh. Ah! <laughs> I was going to say, if I could get down to that ledge, there's a broken part there that seemed to let you drop down to another ledge. Uh, but I'm just going to YOLO off the... <laughs> thing entirely. Did I level up? Shit, I did not level up. I think I had enough souls to level up, especially after those golden hippos, so I need to be very careful. Nope, not that one. Now, I wonder, does it require you to... No, okay. Turn the lights back on every time. It does not. It's interesting that holy damage seems to wreck those guys. So just so you can see what I'm trying to say, um, no, no. Is everybody else doing that? Yeah, maybe I'm not the only one. Is there a different place to do that from? That would be safer. But yeah, see, you get there, run around the edge, drop down onto that doorstep. Uh, threshold, I mean. There we go. How many souls am I working with? I'm working with way too many. I should be just fast traveling back up. I get him before he turns around. Stab, there we go. I'm a little nervous. Um, I feel like I feel like I might be backtracking the way I would have come had I not found that secret, and that's fine. Because I really ought to I'll get familiar with the path, but then I really ought to go back to the bonfire. And level up. Did I ever... What was back here? Did I check this out? I did. Okay. So, apologies. We're going to do this one more time. I just want to bank these... Some of these souls into a level. Get maybe some more intelligence... Let's see if there's a way, not that I'm going to do it. Doesn't seem like there's anything to drop down. Okay. So I'm assuming that medallion I picked up has something to do with giving you either incredibly high stamina, incredibly high stamina restoration. Um, let's level up. 
Okay, my intelligence is now up to 20. I think what I'll do next is get my arcane up to 20 as well. Or should I be getting, like, vigor and endurance and just accept what I am? Like a stupid... Not try and go for so much being so, like, jack-of-all-trades-y. Alright, so I'm burning about 240,000 levels, uh, souls per level, so that's what that's what we're looking at. Honestly, this might actually be the easier way to get down there, now that I've sort of explored. Okay. Because you're not dealing with whatever this guy's secret power is. I feel like maybe if he's on the other side of the room and you're trying to get through guys, that might be a little bit of a combat puzzle, but... Doing it this way, you don't have to worry about that. First off, precious item. Okay. I assume it's telling me about that medallion. Yeah. So I think that talisman... Did I hear this from Bonfireside Chat, or was it something else? Where there's, like, enemies in this game, in the, in the DLC, that are Death Knights. I think they're specifically called Death Knights or something like that. And whenever they're around, they drop one of those medallions. There's one for... Um, a couple of them are boss fights. So we've gotten the plus three, this, this, and that. So we might have gotten all three. Maybe there were four, but... Um, let's see if there's a way to... Uh, yeah, these medallions of the largest variety were conferred to Godwin's inner circle of distinguished golden knights. So, that means somewhere in this dungeon is one of those knights. I don't know if it's going to be the boss. I don't know if it's a dead body and we happen to already deal with it. Or it's just a dead body that you pick loot up from. I don't know. Yeah, something right there, right? Oh, come on. That's probably what they would have done. <laughs> I think you gotta let me... There we go. I just gotta figure out, can I get up there? Okay, well, let's keep going. Maybe we can figure that out at some point. Oh, see, there's another... Ugh. Because they said lever ahead, I want to see if I can get to... Feels like a place for an ambush. Yeah, ladder there. Got that. I want to see if I can somehow... If there's going to be another lever with lights, I want to get the lights going before I start dropping onto that ledge off the platform. Oh, 
there's the lever. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's see if we can see what else is here before we go there. Or that might be it. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's it. Okay. Go down the ladder. There's a ladder right there. Get you up to where that mage was. But the trick is, can I walk off here without uh, killing myself? Can you actually drop down further? Is there anything? No. Okay. Now, I know in one of the dungeons recently where they had, like, the things, the spikes dropping from the ceiling, I, I totally blew it. I missed a bunch of stuff, but I feel like I've done a little, a little better here, maybe. Being thorough and not completely missing a few secrets. I yeah, I really love the idea of this puzzle of the darkness. They, uh, yeah, I've done that. Um, they don't, the lantern's not light enough. It's not bright enough, I mean, to. The, yeah, the lantern's not bright enough to really be like the dragon's dogma light source in a dungeon like this. But let's see what they're trying to tell me. Pair ahead. If he comes up and that separates him, I'm, I'm okay with that. Ooh, I do not have the speed. They would need to make this lantern a lot brighter to Dragon's Dogma. The dungeons. Okay, so that worked out. Lock on and get the range. No, can I get the range now? No. Come on now. <laughs> what about here? No. Still now. Woof. I wonder if I have a better... Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> I was like... The idea of going back to that whole thing was a bit of a nightmare. Hopefully it's... Nice, okay.
Yeah, let's see if I can get this guy to climb back up the ladder. Yep, here we go. So what spells do I have that I might be able to use? Poison Mist, Flame Protect Me, Black Flame might be able to do it. Golden Archers, that might do it. I don't know what the range is on that, but... Try Frozen Lightning Spear. I didn't do it. Uh, let's try... What do we got? No. Elton Stars, no. Let's try Black Flame. Nice. Okay, that's got a little arc to it to get it over the... There we go. So we've got a doorway there. So maybe did I miss? Just want to make sure I didn't miss like a way to get. I don't think I did. So maybe it's another thing where we got to loop back around with a ladder or some secret. Get what that what that item is. I'm sure it's going to be like a smithing stone eight or something. It's not going to be integral to. Doing anything in this game, but I would sort of at least like to take one quick look just to make sure it's not obvious. Um, okay, so was there any type of platform? No, not that I see. You know what? Ugh, whatever. I feel like it's starting to take me pretty high up, so... It's not just as simple of, as the last one. Alright, let's see what's down here. Sword ahead, okay.
Okay, so let me, before I press onward this way, let me just double check. What was this way? A lot of blood stains here, I don't know why. I was wondering if that sarcophagus would do anything when it was illuminated. Is it just making a path, or is it... Can I get back up? Let's figure it out. Push comes to shove, I... Uh there we go. I was going to say, I just die. Stake America. Okay. Always happy to collect those things. I will almost never use them, though. There we go. Nice. Where are we on the map? Huh. I was going to say, because we've gone quite deep. Here we go. Alright. Hate to burn it, but, uh, uh well, I'm going to burn another one. That's not good. <laughs> did I get the tear? Okay, did. There we go. Let's get in there. Mix it up. I wonder if I can jump over those. Not with those reflexes. What the hell was that? Oh. I feel like we're doing okay with those weapons. What other weapons do we have? That could be interesting to try. We could go with the, the God Killer. That's always a fun option. The 
Bubbles, uh, I'm wondering if Faith is not the best way to attack these guys because... Interesting. Do I have what I need? Int 11, I do have what I need for this. Faith, intelligence, this fire damage. That's, that could be good. Should maybe boost that one up. I thought I did do something with fire, didn't I? Dragon Hunter Great Katana. That's not a dragon, though, so why? Did I not do anything with fire? I thought I buffed one sword up with fire. But, or did I switch it out? Might have switched it out. Let's try, uh, let's try Black Blade. That's holy damage, which I'm scaled for. I don't know if it's going to be the good, good fit for... I'll grab this. Oops. Nope. Gotta keep moving. Okay. Where's uh mimic? Yeah, let's get let's get on this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta heal up. Where is he? Sixty for that. Very nice. Uh, yeah, let's get arcane up to twenty, and then I'll go back. Maybe get vigor up to fifty or something. I don't know. Nice. So what I was so impressed with, like this kept going down and down and down and down and down and down and I was going to keep going. So where did we end up? Oh, interesting. Is this the only way to get here? switch back to the thunder hammer just because it's fun I would be interested to boost up that 
anvil, just see what that can do. Now, what's interesting about this, and maybe it's not that interesting, I just haven't been paying attention. These graves are real. Through a lot of the areas we've been traversing, the graves are sort of spirits. And on Fireside Chat, they dropped in one of their earliest episodes for the DLC, they talked about how the gravestones, after they just spend the Abyssal Woods, after they spend just an, uh, enough time, they lose their corporeal form. You know, like the rocks crumble and stuff like that, but the stones themselves maintain a presence and they become spirit graves. Here... I don't know if it means anything or if I'm just misreading it or if there's tons of other places with gravestones. I don't know. So what I like about this is once again... Oh, can't summon a horse. Um, when you get to the bottom of the world in a Souls game... It, it, um, I don't know. I always find it to be some really interesting levels. Like Ash Lake feels like you're just at the bottom. I don't know if it's literally the bottom of the map, but let's see what they say. Don't let it see you. Once you are seen, there is no escape. Okay, so I think they're telling you something. It cannot even be touched. So first and foremost, well, I got 130 grand on me. Let's go, um, lands between map. Let's uh, see if we can buff up that anvil and see what it does since it's intelligence, faith, fire. It's got a lot going on. I'm just kind of curious. But, um, yeah, when you get to the bottom of the world in these games, I'm always sort of floored by those levels. Ash Lake's always been one that stuck out with me. For me, I mean. Okay. What's this? Strength, intelligence. Oh, I do remember picking this up. Okay. What I want is this. Colossal weapon. Strength of 39. I got that. I got, got it all. Okay, so if I buff this all the way using an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, I'm going to get 320, 208. So I'm going to do 528 straight up physical damage. 528 plus another 356. So that's 528, 828, 878, 884. That's another 75. So 884, 889, 959 or something like that. And I'm going for it. Now Devona's, Devonia's Hammer... Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, Shadow Realm map. Where am I, though? Where did I get to? Forsaken Graveyard. Woodland Trail. Is that where I was? Whatever those messages are, it's pretty foreboding, because those look like developer messages. The Abyssal Woods. Let's, um... Yeah, let's switch to it and just see what it's like. I feel like at some point, am I not going to be able to fat, uh, fast roll? No, I still can. But yeah, uh, these looked like specialized messages to help you out. 
There's a lot of places going that way. Let me just see what's over here really quickly. I still have 93,000 souls, but it's not as bad. I, at least I got to spend some. There's still no horse? No. Okay. Kind of just tempted to see what this does. Okay. Doesn't have much range, so that's good to know. I guess that's why they're saying don't let him see you. It's just an overhead swing. So it's not good for like clearing out a room. Damage is good, but I don't know if it's good enough Compared to the other hammer where you can sort of sweep attack. So I could see it being good one on one with like a boss, maybe that wasn't as fast. And I do miss having a ranged magic attack. But I'm still glad I did it. Maybe I'll try it with a boss and it'll have its place, etc., etc. I don't even know if there's anything up here, but I'll give it a try. Now, I wonder what the implications are that at the base of this world here, it's just a collection of whatever that madness force is. Madness force, my Spec Ops 80s military techno thriller coming out this fall. But I'm still curious. So I think the single hits with the anvil are definitely doing more damage or shot than this hammer. But this hammer, again, when I had two on me, I felt like with the sweeping attack, a little bit more like a bastard sword, the claymore. That's the weapon move set I'm most familiar with. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so what do we do with that? What do we do with that? Let's, um, I'm just kind of curious. Uh, 
gotten so many weapons that I don't even remember when or where we got them. What does this thing do? Scales bob with faith causes blood buildup and holy damage. So it's a bleed. Okay, that's interesting. Has a ranged attack. That could be good. Um, the other thing... Intelligence is 22. I remember this being interesting for a while in the base game, but not enough to necessarily stick with. This always seemed like it could be kind of cool, just a giant <laughs> FU to the skull. Uh, let's see what else do we got. We got this. I feel like I should take one of these and make them... Whoa, a dex of 48. Arcane of 20 to get the Rivers of Blood going again. So, yeah, I'm going to get my Arcane up, I guess. What's this? Backhand blade. It's marked with something. I'm wondering if I should make a uh, Moon Veil. Yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, intelligence of 23. I'm almost there, I guess. But then I would want to have my Faith of 51, you know, get that intelligence scaling up. So, who knows about that? But, uh,. Yeah, I should make my Sacred Great Katana, like, make it like a fire weapon. Can I do that here? Am I, let me sit down and see if I can change out the ashes of war on this thing. Uh, can I do that? Great Runes, Ashes of War. Uh, Flame Art, Great Katana, what's the... Flame spear, ready weapon for a thrusting unleash a spear of flame straight ahead. I've always been partial to this one, but maybe this one, uh, maybe this flame spear is the way to go. This one used to stagger enemies pretty quickly. I don't know if that's still the case. Let's try this. And then do we... Uh, God, now I gotta do all this math again. Uh, so it's gonna take it from Holy, which is 266. So those that's definitely gonna go down quite a bit. Well, let's... It does... That's probably why I did this in the first place when I thought about the math. And I'm just curious what fire can do to these guys. Hmm. So I was definitely not going the right way in terms of getting that. Map thing, which is probably what I should be focusing on. Honestly, not blown away by Fire's performance on these guys. Maybe it's just this particular weapon. Let me try the instant win button. Because honestly, the Great Katana is not that much faster than these kinds of weapons here. 
Now, is that a bonfire? I appreciate this because since there's no horses allowed, uh, you can't the distances are longer. I don't know how to get up there though. Let's see what this does. That's a lot. So that's faster than the Great Catan, it feels like, and it does a little bit more damage. This is slow, but it's got some range to it. Now the question is, where did that other thing come from that got me last time? There's one, okay. Bunch of things down there. Did he come all the way from down there? Is that... Okay, so that's how it works. They <laughs> see you from afar, they instantly teleport, and then they flat out murder you. So I don't have to worry about souls anymore. That's one thing. I guess that's good. I thought the last time, though, I had a chance to do something, and I blew it. But I still had the chance. Wait, did I just die right there? Is it, did I just basically make a giant loop and end up coming right back around. Let's see if I can... Okay. Oh, interesting. It's literally... Stealth mission. Let's see if I can... Okay. So can I not hit him? Or did I not have the range on that attack? I felt like I should have. Yeah, that's fine.
Okay. I appreciate that this is an optional area. I mean, I know a lot of the DLC is optional. Thinking about these enemies in particular, like, I take swings at them, I can't hurt it. If you get caught, it's basically an insta-kill. Uh, I gotta say, I think... I think I'm gonna think this is actually terrible. Um, nobody likes insta instant fail stealth. And the fact that you can't hurt it, at least... From what I saw, like, my weapon went right through. It didn't even do anything. Um... That's actually potentially kind of garbage. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know it's still sort of first impressions, but what I'm seeing at work here, I think, is actually kind of shit. Yeah, this is this is dumb. Now, I'd be curious what the lore reasons are for no torrent. Honestly, I kind of wish they'd give you a bonfire just on the other side, because that, that's, uh, that's not interesting at all to deal with that creature. Because again, like, instant fail stealth, nobody cares for that. In a non-stealth game where it might be wonky, that's not good. And again, I'd be curious about the lore reasons, but it feels arbitrary that it's just like, yep, invincible and instant death, so... Yeah, this is, this is dumb. So I guess I'm below that hut, like way below that hut. I was able to get to that hut. See what happens with this one. There's no reason for it to not see me, but it, okay, it turns the other way.
Need this guy to turn around pretty quickly, though. Can't tell. Can you cut through grass? Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna get to that bonfire because I can't stand this. If I die here, I'm gonna be so pissed. Got it. Yeah, seriously, screw that. That's. Didn't care for that at all. That's pretty terrible. I guess it's good to know it might not be like literal instant death. Wait, what's... My neighbor's getting their lawn mode, so I might um, pause for a sec. Okay, so now I'm officially back. Uh, this is not where I expected to be on the map, I gotta say. Uh, but let's uh, let's keep going north and seeing. Or did I already go there? Like, did you just? Does it just dead end? Is the secret to that annoying area to just stay on the high ground? turn back. Um, I mean, so this thing, is there a reason why there is a bonfire here? House ahead. Bright spot. <laughs> yeah, no, I deserved that. I wasn't paying attention, got overwhelmed. Okay, let's try that again. Also run up there.
can't tell what I'm looking at down there. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I, again, I'm sure I'm missing tons here. I'm not interested in going too far back because I just don't want to deal with that stealth stuff again. I'd rather... It's not very sporting, but I would actually just rather miss the stuff than... have to deal with that again. Now, can I get up there? I'll do that in a little bit. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's see if we can get um Is this? Oh, just a glowing skull. Okay. So the bonfire I don't think is for continuing north. I think it might be for doubling back on this higher road. What I should be doing is I should just be beelining again for the map fragment. I never do that. Oh, I did not get that off. <laughs> I appreciate that that attack has a little bit of tracking to it. I mean, I guess it has to in some level or else it'll be useless the way things can. But if something could just, I like that it tracks when someone it goes a little sideways, they can still get the shot off.
Hoping to get both there did not happen. Uh, let's see. Now, is this one a spirit? Or is it a different bird? That's an eagle. That's like an owl or something. Something's different about that. That might have been a terrible mistake. Let's see about that cookbook. What did I? What, let's see if there's anything that was worth. Not sure where it would be. Let's see what we can make. Lightning proof, pickled, dried, uh, lightning pots, red lightning pots, hefty fly pot, forms of blood flies, hefty volcano pot, cursed blood pot, spray mist. Okay. Use FP to continuously heal chaos followers. Okay. Okay. Well, whatever. Again, I just have no interest in doing this, so let's um let's jump back over there. So let's see if we can uh figure anywhere else out to go. I thought there was a way to see like the cookbook you just picked up, so then you could see because it tells you what the recipes are. I might deal with these two guys just so they're not coming up behind me or doing anything weird. I think I've got range here. So I think the two Madness people are over to my left, I'm hoping.
go. All right, let's uh, see if we can keep this going. Let's say for the as dark and dank and oppressive as this is, this stands out and makes me wonder sort of what's going on here. Seriously, there's got to be a way to... I thought it was here. But... It didn't seem to do anything. It's not here under crafting materials. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, frenzied flame pot, roped frenzied flame pot. That's what the first one did. This one gives me the hefty frenzy. Okay. Red light. Okay. This is a beautiful touch to sort of crack in the earth that lets a little bit of the light come down. survive this? Okay. Don't think I can survive that, but then what do I do? Okay, I might be stuck. <laughs> okay, uh, so what else can I do? Let's start here and let's make our way down to the, uh, the map. It's a beacon, and let's get going. I 
what's that? There we go. Get this off, or am I? There we go. Nice. Okay. So, my thoughts on this area are sort of twofold. Like, one, there are aspects to that stealth thing that I just didn't care for. If there's only one way to get here, and that's through a secret passage, I don't care for that. But I'm glad, like I was saying, like getting to the bottom of the world in a Souls game, I always like. And I'll be really curious to hear what, um, what Bonfire Side Chat has to say about this area. What the lore is, why, you know, with the what's underneath it all, so to speak. You know, in Dark Souls 1, it is ash. That's what's underneath it all. It's just a lake of ash, it's, you know, maybe a hydra that's been, that got caught down there, just like the oldest dragon, and it's ash, that's what's at the heart of the world, here it's madness, and the whole time we've been talking about Mikola, abandoned church, okay. And this is what's at its core. Madness and abandoned church. Scatter tree fragment, I'll take that. Does that mean that everything that this world is built on, everything that people believe that it's be up top is actually mess and correct? So are you able to sort of make out the elevated portions from this, or is it just sort of a bunch of... And also, at some point, I need to figure out how to find that shack. You all saw that. He came at me. Can't tell if that's random weather or if there was something specific to this point. Okay, didn't expect rain, so maybe I'm not the only one going, huh?
What do you think? Can I three in a row them? There we go. Okay, so what, uh, hmm. So, I got a scatter tree fragment. I got a couple from the hippos. That's nice. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing down here. Otherwise. I actually like the soundtrack going on, the sort of haunting... So something I was talking about doing in earlier sessions that I failed to do is I failed to mark on my map where that shack was that I walked away from in order to come down to here. Don't know how to... back there. Dark Light Catacombs took me from there to here. So it would have been before the catacombs, which I should mark as done. it there. So basically, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing in this area. I feel like I have, not perfectly, but I do feel like I've covered a lot of it. So is there something I walked away from in the other direction? Here's some more giant rats. Nope. Get it off, baby. There we go. Oh.
Okay, so let's just quickly take a look at the map. Is there something... Like, I've been up to this part. But I can't recall. Was there something... Leading away from that starting bond... That, this bonfire here. Or is it just those creatures that you can't kill? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop back up to here. See if I can figure out where that other shack was. If I can't figure that out, I might just go to the area that was hidden behind the burned tree. Because... I can't think of what else to do. I'm gonna miss and die. Nope, I didn't die. I'm never going to figure out where that shack was, I don't think. Unless I just stumble upon it and get lucky, but... Let me go down the rest of the grave sites and see if it was at the base of this area, and then... Yeah, you know, I feel like it might have been higher up because this feels like the area where I fought the two golden hippos. The shack was above that area.
Oh well, okay. No, this is definitely not where I fought the hippo. How far back up do you think you have to go for that? I think I did check that out. Okay, so let's uh, backtrack a little bit more and then give up. Let's reset all that. Where are we? Nope, we're back right there. Okay. No, oh, there it is. Okay, so how do I get... I feel like if I jump for it, I'm going to die. So let's see if I can get down and then back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now am I too low? Nope, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what sword do I want? Let me go with uh, Thunder Hammer to start. See if I can get this off before I die. Feels like I should stagger that guy at some point. <laughs> Ooh. 
Rakshasa. Okay, let's take America. Uh, let's try. Oop, let's try um, Super Anvil. So it doesn't look like you can bring in any help. It's supposed to be just a mono mono fight. <laughs> well, that didn't go well. All right. Let me try that one more time and not just try and use that a little more strategically or tactically. No openings there. Um, hmm. Try one more time with this weapon, but I feel like it might be too slow. I mean, combined with my lack of talent. Okay, that's not doing it. Uh, let's try, well, I feel like the Marraketh blade is gonna be too slow for the magic power. So let's let's try the instant win because it gets a little range going. I know it's cheap. Let's see what that does. One of this is one of those things everybody's like, yeah, you know, if you were any good at this game, you could just parry it and you'd be fine. And they go, okay. Oh, he just jumped it. I didn't realize you can jump over that. off. How did you... Okay. Maybe they did get hit by that. some range on that thing, baby. Yep, you're out. I'm almost out, but you're out. It's more important.
There we go. Nice. Nice. Rakshasa's great katana. Get the move set. Uh, to get the armor set, not the move set. There may not be anything else to this, I guess. But let me check out the katana at least. I don't. Let me, let me see about the armor. Uh, it's lower of everything, but it's got a little bit better resistances. Um, Helm of Rakshasa, soaked in spurting blood of her victims. Tatters of ragged cloth jut out has haphazardly. Increases damage dealt to foes, but greatly increases damage. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, what about the... Rakshasa's great katana. Obviously, it's got uh, blood buildup. A berserker's weapon used to endure enemy attacks and reply with one's full fury. Performs scythe-like horizontal swings with the sword, cutting men down as if they were weeds. Additional inputs allows for the continuation of the attack. Oh, so you can just go nuts. With that sweep attack. Okay, so I feel like... I feel like I'm clearly missing something down here, but at the same time, I can't figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to here. So those are the same creatures we were just seeing in the madness area. Um,
jump down here? And what's the ramifications of that? Nice, okay. Oops. There's got to be way back up. Oh, <laughs> is it the staircase? <laughs> Really concerned about that thing, though. Get it off, baby. Nope. <laughs> See that coming at you, that's not good. There we go. It's not pretty, but we'll take it. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it just came from there. It's 
Byra. Must be a spell. Okay, so I'm going to go up these stairs. I think I've got some kind of swordman to the left. Swordsman to the left. I'm sure this is going to be a hassle. Get it off. Nope. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Probably have said that before when I've encountered these at some point, probably. Got talons, like, for boots. Did not notice that the first time. Looks like I'm on the path to get the full set. Let's see, did I get enough? I'll take that, yeah. I wanted to rest there because I... Just so I don't have to run up that ledge again. Now I can't remember... What do you think? Do I have to deal with this fat guy again? Or can I... I think I have to. Get it off. There we go. That could be worse. Um, okay. Hmm. 
realized I've got a butt ton of souls. And if I can get past this guy, maybe close to a level. That was me being greedy, so I deserve that. Getting close to a level. Again, dodging into the enemy's attack seems to be a thing that happens. So where is that coming from? Kill this thing, please. Oh! Close. Clearly the... The fat monk. Have I been this way? No, obviously not. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do. Can I just run by this guy? Before he comes in, I get two off before he comes in. Nope, <laughs> just walked right into that. Oh, 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 well, there goes 200 and X thousand souls. So now I guess I can try the other direction without any <laughs> fear of being deeply angry at myself.
curious what's down that elevator. And then we can pop back up. settlement. Oh. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Because when we burn the thing, I think it could just teleport you to... It just teleported you to the um, bonfire. So this is the way to connect the worlds. Okay, got it. Let's see what we can do here, if anything. This isn't going to work. I just keep going. Oh, right, this guy. <laughs> What's next? One of those guys. Okay, so I don't know if I can just speed run this. <laughs> that okay oh he's giving me bleed damage too okay
Nope. Nope. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> I think looking at the time, what I'll do is we'll stop here. I feel like we covered that area down as far as below as we can go. Maybe I'll sort of Google it a little bit now that I've experienced what's there. But I feel like we're sort of hitting the end game. I don't want to get I don't want to get too far. I don't want to beat it too quickly, if you hear what I'm saying. Um, so what I want to do is we'll we'll do this next chunk in the next section because it might take me a four hour span to get through it. So we'll stop here. Uh, again, appreciate everybody who's been checking this out. This has been Black Lodge Trivia Night. If you're watching this, then obviously you found our YouTube channel and we are happy that you stopped by. Like, subscribe if you're into this sort of thing. We're mainly a tabletop RPG actual play group. Um, we put the videos up here. If you prefer audio of that kind of thing or when we discuss RPG topics, if we do breakdowns of RPG books, just search for Black Lodge Trivia Night wherever you get your podcasts and we should show up. Otherwise, yeah, what have we got going on? It's, it's again, at the time of this recording, it's late September. It's still uh, Samit the Reich. It's still Mithras Imperative Cold War Spy. It's still prepping some Delta Green. Uh, we've got a Bookhouse Boys where I go into the M Space line coming up. Again, by the time this goes out, it'll be out. So you can check that out if you're interested in a D100 sci-fi uh, rule set and setting. And uh, otherwise, we again, we always appreciate it. Jump into our Discord if you want to talk about RPGs or CRPGs. And um, otherwise, take care. Have a good one. Thanks.